Hello and welcome to a let's try of Tamarack Trail. Tamarack Trail uh, is a uh, roguelike builder deck builder game that uses dice instead of cards. So I thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, full transparency, I did get the key for this game for free, but it does kind of align with the types of games I like and I thought I'd give it a shot. So I figured why not? Um, the it looks like slice and dice and slay the spire kind of like a little bit of both so just thought we'd try it out let's take a look i have not played this yet at all uh i've just looked through the um videos that uh were provided and just kind of got a general idea of what to do but outside of that i have no idea so let's go to the lodge don't know what any of this does don't even know if we can do anything here. I assume not, because it looks like these are upgrades and there's something up here. So let's just go to the hero and find the hero that we want. Okay, that's telling me to upgrade the lodge, but I can't. Do the trail. I guess let's just go to the trail. Okay, what path do we want to take? Looks like I don't even know what any of these things are. I'm just... In my brain, I'm equating it to Slay the Spire. So I am just looking at the icons and guessing these are like rest stops. And that's probably a elite or maybe a store of some sort. That's nah, probably a um, You can either go up here, get a treasure chest, which doesn't exist on any other path beforehand. So let's, yeah, maybe let's go that way. All right, let's take a look. I know the dice, you have to like um, throw them and make them crash into each other. Yes, yes, yes. If I don't use dice, do I need resolve? So I don't know how often these charges replenish. This lets you reroll your dice. Uh, this, I think we can like knock them together. Yes, so bouncing gives a little indicator and those indicators can affect what happens. They can only bounce once, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and deal five damage. I guess we'll try to take out one of these guys first. And we'll just go for the wipeout. Whoa, that did not kill it. What the heck? How did that not die? I did enough damage. Oh. Do you have to kill it that many times? Well, there goes another heart on that thing. All right. So that got rid of its resolve and maybe that's what killed it. Okay. Let's go ahead and tumble that boy. So this Apply some bleed. And that deals damage. Alright, we're actually maybe regaining some health. Use to regen by the amount of stacks. Okay. I guess we'll throw some more bleed on you. That's five bleed. All right, there we go. Our first victory. Although I am down to like one health already. Kind of crazy. Uh, okay, that's more bleed, so we can go for a... Oh, there's like com uh, common, uncommon levels. Kind of cool. I kind of like the AoE, the all damage.
All right, so it looks like we can customize our dice here. Okay, so this guy does All right, what about the what about this one? Huh. We didn't see it defend that entire time. That was interesting. All right. I think we're good. I think we'll leave this attack, this basic attack off cuz we just replaced it with another attack. All right, let's move forward to this. Hmm. Stone rooster, huh? So we actually don't know what happens until later. I feel like investigating is probably... A good move new core oh we gain a new die core but well, we receive okay 50 percent more damage for each stack lose all wind damage all right so let's go under the core chest can we no oh that's okay that's just telling me what those icons mean i see so can we go back here? Gained a die core. Okay. So this is a core. What does it do? Gain 15 when wounded once per combat. That seems pretty solid. Did that save or not? When I did that, yes, it did. Okay. So I don't have to make sure to close that before I move on to the next thing. Well, hello. Oh, my health is back. That's interesting. All right. So that's sort of useless because... It's a single target. However, apparently we got the job done. Critical success, single turn. Very nice. All right, so common, common, uncommon. Deal seven plus five per blind stack on the target. We don't have anything that blinds the target so this isn't gonna help right now however this is two damage to all monsters and then flip the die to the right that seems like it could potentially be interesting so i'm gonna do that and then flip it to the right Or, that is an attack, right? So maybe we do this. I, in my brain, I'm thinking one of these die needs to be a defense die, and one of them needs to be an attack die. So let's do this. Let's do that. I think that should be fair. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. Like our rest up, which we're, we were fine anyway, but I guess we get an extra plus whatever. All right, so you go ahead, toss you around. We 
They actually knocked it over. Okay, so. Probably want you to bleed. Because you actually have a fair amount of nonsense to deal with. Alright, that should help weaken you. Another bleed. Put that on you. You will hit. How did that not damage his resolve more? I'm not under... I, I must not be understanding that correct. Because that does not seem to be working the way I thought it would. Hey, we actually have like a defense for the first time. Okay. So that used an exhaust, which I don't want to do. We'll add more bleed to you. We'll attack you again. We did get rid of some resolve there. Okay, we get some defense, which is nice. Then we'll do another attack on you. Should take care of another one of your hearts. Give us a little bit of protection there. Oh, and it is exhausted. Probably should have tried to do this first. Ah, we actually lost the heart. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to do this first. That's all right. Oh, he regained resolve? That's a little nuts. That was a mistake. I should have doubled down on him. He had shield up. I wasn't going to do any damage to him anyway. Okay, this time... We'll actually do damage to both of them. And we'll gain defense. So hopefully we can recover a little bit here. Damaged, we got some defense. Not that it did much for us. Yeah. Apply a little bleed, get a little more defense. He'll probably attack me. Did a little bit, nothing too crazy. Alright, didn't do any damage to him there. Good that we got more stacks of bleed. He's regaining faster than we're damaging. Alright, there's some damage. There's some more damage. And he's gone. Perfect. So we did lose a heart in that one, which we didn't do the first round. What else can we do here? 10 damage and 2 bleed. That's pretty solid. I will go ahead and take that. I feel like that should go on here. So this flips it to the right, which should be this. Alright, that one should be good. 
I don't know if that's a good strategy, having like one attack and one defend die, but all right, so here is a chest that has some artifacts in it. This is damaged by two. I mean, this is just straight up more DPS. This will keep us alive longer in combat. I think I'll take the attack. That may be silly, but I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Ah, I meant to hit them together. I think that looks a little funky. All right, we got our defense. He's attacking for 10. We have six defense. All right, we do a little there. And then that also rolls it to the side. Wow, we did a little. Oh, I thought that said 44, but it was actually four and four. Not nearly as impressive. Get some defense up. He's still going to do four damage overall to us. All right, we get dodge, avoid damage from one attack, and then lose one when damaged. So, should dodge the entire attack then right we'll hit him with that and we'll do that that should get rid of one as resolves wow we had already lost a, a heart or is that still carry over from last time all right there's a bleed on you there goes another heart for you and a bleed which Ooh, that, that was a hard hit. We need some defense. I need something better than that. Well, double attack should take him out. All right, deal seven, flip the die to the top if it hits, if the hit enemy has any debuffs. I don't know if anybody's going to have any debuffs. I will take it just because it's better than nothing. Thing that's kind of unfortunate about this is that they need the debuff first for so the flipping like the order operations there's a little tricky all right so this is gonna get a little bit nasty i assume bleed is a debuff That gives me dodge. Get another attack on you. Very nice. Give me something better. No. No. It's exhausted. That does nothing for me. Right, 
put a bleed on you. Do a hit. We'll lose a heart there. A lot of bleed. Oh boy. We got a little bit of that. Due to all monsters that did more to him. And that should do four and four. So that took out the big guy. Now we just got to worry about this guy. All right, there we go. Hey, we got a new die. So that's just a new, entirely new die. Which for now, I guess we just put all these attacks on it. Oh, crud, that goes on here. Probably should have checked that first. All right, so we can go a couple different ways. We can go to an event. We can go to a rest, which I kind of feel like that's probably a good idea. We'll miss the shop if we go this way. Otherwise, there's no... Holy cow, this goes on for a while. I don't think I'm going to make it that far. All right, I think we got to go this way because I need the rest. Okay, so we're going to put the bleed on you. There we go. And that takes them out. That avoids damage. Oh, they, they got double. Very nice. Well, that was pretty incredible. F damage. I feel like we don't have a lot of defense stuff, so let's go ahead and look at that. Slap an attack on here. All right, let's make our way over here. Heal one and get five. I will gladly take that. Right, let's, uh, of course, the one side that gets nothing. All right, we'll hit you. Oh, so close. All right, they get a dodge. So I feel like hitting you, that'll get rid of the dodge for you. You'll do seven. And then we can do this again. That avoids the nine damage entirely. half damage to the attacker. So 
if we get half of half. Oh, okay. So this costs resolve and I can't use it. Okay, so I think we defend. We hit you with that. Hit you with that. And we hit you with that. And that wipes you out. So here's blind. Backflips another dodge, which isn't bad. Two backflips, so we have a, a, a defense that'll flip over to the turtle. All right, so you're good. You get your last attack. This is nothing but attacks on that one. So I'm overusing my attacks is the problem, I think. I only have a certain amount of resolve. Okay, so I can hit you. I can do this and then do a hide then hit you again We're going to have to hit you. You're going to do nine damage if I let you live. I think I'll take you out and then I'll use this and then I'll protect me. Let's defend, take that guy out. All right, we'll do a smoke bomb, which can go on this guy. And then if we get a chance for aim for the eyes, we, we can do that another time. Okay, so we definitely can do this. That'll let me dodge the first attack. Do that, which will make us take half damage. So who do we want to take out first? Well, We could just go take you out right away. That just leaves this one guy. He did two damage to us, but it's not that bad. Dodge, bleed, blind. And we protect ourselves, so we're good.
Um. I feel like smoke bomb is good. And if we get exploit weakness on another one, that would be good too. All right, so now we have some choices here. Remove one random debuff stack on flip. Add five defense on flip. And all defensive abilities. Yeah, I think I'd rather just have more defense. So that should probably go onto this guy because all our defensive things are on that die. Let's move on to the next thing. Let's try to, nope, we only got the one hit. Ooh, these guys are nasty. Right, let's put the bleed on you. The attack off. There we go. We'll dodge one of those. Not the worst one. Ugh. Didn't want to do that. Well, let's put blind on him. And he's already bleeding. Do a defense to that. That's going to take us down to nothing. We are not in a good place right now. All right, that's exhausting. Gives us more defense. He's about to put defense up. There we go. Yeah, I think uh, confusion could be okay. Do I want it on that die though? No, probably on this one. Flip the die to the right, so probably this one, because then we can blind after or afterwards. All right, let's get our next thing. I mean, five defense, I guess. That way, even our... No, I think all these have something, right? Yeah, we're not going to do anything with that now. I am very worried about this next boss. I don't think I'm going to make it. Ooh, this is nasty. That's heavy attack at three stacks. We do not want that getting three stacks. All right, we will slap a bleed on you. That will avoid the damage. You can be blinded. I don't, I, there's no way I'm winning this one.
Oh, no, why'd you flip? Why'd you have to flip? Alright, we got a... Something here. Do I have to do this? Can I... Nothing? Oh, there I go. I was defeated. I mean, that's kind of to be expected the first time around because you have to unlock all these different things. I definitely don't understand the mechanic of using um, the bar here. I think I'm overusing skills, but I really don't know how to not do that. <laughs> so I don't know. It'll be interesting, but I, I do kind of like the game. I do think it's it's fun um enjoyable i i think there's a lot of meta progression i still have to do overall i would definitely play this again um i yeah i i don't i don't even know what to say it it, it is a lot like slay the spire i haven't played slice and dice but i've watched people play it on uh on youtube and twitch and whatnot and it does seem to be fairly similar to that um I am excited to kind of dig more into the meta progression of this. So let me know. Let me know if you like this, if you want me to play more of it. I I kind of feel like I want to play at least a couple more times um, just so I can better understand the game, get better hang of it. But that was enjoyable. Um, thank you for watching. If you liked it, uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, see more uh, similar content in the future, and we will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.